Okay, so Mr. Show, I'm gonna do problem number five on our quiz review. Here's what we have right here. We have two parallel lines and a transversal across two lines. The thing that the problem tells me is I have these two angles here in blue, 45 degrees and 5x plus 35. I want to find a way to set those equal to each other so that I can solve for x because that's that's the goal here. For me to be able to set those equal to each other, I have to find some kind of relationship where the lines are congruent. Okay. So here's one. Here's where I'm going to start here. I'm going to start with my 45, and we see some crisscross action right here. Or here's a way that we can just get to the punch right here. Okay. I have a straight line right here. I have a straight line right here. Right. This parallel line. We can use it, the principle called linear pair. Linear means line. Any two angles on a uh, on a straight line is 180 degrees. Straight line is 180 degrees. And every time we see a straight line, there'll be a line uh, a line cutting it into two angles. It's called linear pair. So we have that perfect right here. We have a straight line on top here where I'm, where I'm, I'm holding this, and we have two angles right here, 45 and angle A. Those two angles added together should be 180 degrees, okay? 180 degrees equals 45 degrees plus angle A, okay? Or I can just say, another way of saying it is 180 degrees equals 45, and I'll call angle A just X right now so that I can solve for that variable right now, okay? If I subtract 45 from both sides right here, okay, I'll just keep this as, instead of X and be We'll just say angle A. Angle A is, uh, is 180 degrees minus our 45, which is going to be, uh, the, the, the quick math in my head is going to be 135 degrees, right? 135. So this should be 135 degrees right here, angle A. Okay? We knew that from linear pair. Now, if I know that the, this angle A is 135 degrees, we can solve for X. Here's why. We can use our next principle is called corresponding angles. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles means this right here. If I have an intersection right here, one is to is one is to five, is two is to six. Why? One is top left, five is top left here. Up here, two is on the top and the right. Up here, six is the top and the right. So one corresponds to five here, two corresponds to six here. Well, what corresponds to 8 here? What corresponds to 135 degrees? 5x plus 35 because this is on the bottom. If, if I put a dot right here and make this an intersection, this is on the bottom right of our intersection. I put a dot right here. If there were four cars parked at this four-way stop, 5x plus 35 is on the bottom right of this four-way stop. 35 to 135 degrees on the bottom of this four-way four stop. Corresponding angles are congruent, which means I can set them equal to each other, which means I can solve for x, which is what I wanted to do this whole time. Okay, once I know if they're corresponding angles, I set them equal to each other, knowing that they're congruent. Congruent means equal to each other, so that's where I'm getting this equal sign from. And now we can solve for x. Plus the inverse of plus 35 is minus 35. This is going to be pretty easy because 135 minus 35 is 100. Okay, we talked about this in almost every video. When it's when two things are side by side, that means multiply. Well, in math, it's saying take five times x. The opposite of five times x is divide by x, and x is going to equal twenty. One hundred divided by five is twenty. Thank you.